By the end of this video, we're going to show how to set up a widget on your Android home screen that displays the status of one of your SmartThings connected devices. So let's get started. So we're going to be using three different apps to set up the custom Android widgets. We'll use Sharp Tools, Tasker, and Minimalistic Text. So Sharp Tools is an app I developed which provides Tasker plugins and widgets for smart things. Tasker is a set of automation tools for Android and Minimalistic Text allows you to create text-based widgets on Android. So to go ahead and get started we're going to, to add a widget to the home screen. So we'll do that by long pressing on the home screen and selecting widgets. And note that this is different for different devices. Some devices you long press on the home screen other devices it's in the app drawer, so refer to your documentation for your home screen or your app launcher if you need to. So we'll start by pressing widgets at the bottom, and then I'm going to scroll down to minimalistic text. So once we find minimalistic text, we want to find the, the size or the dimension of the type of widget that we want. So some people may just want the one by one, which is the first widget. <laughs> Or you may want to scroll through here, and in this case I'm going to use the 2x1, which is a, a wide widget. So I'll long press on that and drop it on the home screen. And once it's dropped on the home screen, it's going to prompt us to set up the widget. We can choose one of the default layouts like Simple Time, or just tap off into the gray area to continue without selecting one. So I'll do that by tapping off into the gray area, which really just defaults you to the first Simple Time layout. So now we'll go to Layout, which is the tab on the left, and on a phone you may have to swipe through those tabs at the top of your screen. I'm going to hit the three button menu uh, at, for the first row and select Delete Row, because we don't really need any of the content that's in there. We're going to add our own content here by pressing the plus button at the bottom of the screen. And then we'll swipe over to Miscellaneous, the tab at the top. What we're looking for is the Locale Variable option. So Locale, Tasker, and several other uh, Android automation tools use the same Locale type of plugin. So that's what we're using here. Click the checkbox for that and click OK. And then we need to configure the Locale variable to accept our variable that we're going to send to it. So we'll do that by tapping the Locale variable and we'll give it a variable name. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Office Lite and I'll override the size of this because I want mine to be a little bit bigger than it is by default. By default it's pretty small. So I'll click 32 and press OK. And at the bottom of the screen we can see kind of a sample of what the widget would look like with that LOC TV uh, down there. So now we have everything set up. We've got a locale variable with the size that we want and we have it configured to an accept a variable. Again, that variable is office light, so we'll need to remember that because we'll use it here in a second. So the last thing we'll do is click the save icon in the top right, which saves the widget and closes it out. So by default here, you can see that the widget is blank. It doesn't have any content in it, and that's because that variable doesn't have any data set to it. So we're going to get to that in a minute, but before we do that, we want to subscribe to the device that we're interested in. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Sharp Tools, subscribe to the attribute of the device that we're interested in and what that'll do is anytime that attribute changes we'll get a push event to our device. So what that allows us to do is then react to that push event, take some data from it, and then put it into this widget. And I'll go through that step by step, but here we go. So let's go ahead and open up Sharp Tools. and We'll scroll down to our desired device, which in my case is the office lamp, and we'll long press on that device, which brings up a subscription menu and we want to select the attribute that we want to have displayed in the widget. So in my case, I want to see the dim level of the lamp in the widget. And we need to make a mental note of what this attribute name is. So in this case, I'll remember level, so we'll use it here in a little bit. So I'll go ahead and select subscribe to level, and we see a star shows up on the office lamp that indicates that we are successfully subscribed to the device. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and continue on to completing our configuration. So now we'll go ahead and open up Tasker, and this is where some of the real fun happens. This is where we set up the profile that reacts to those uh, level events that come in from the light. So basically every time the light changes level, it'll say, hey, here's my new level. 
and then we'll react to that by having an action that takes the level and pushes it to that widget. So we'll do that first by being on the Profiles tab and selecting the plus icon at the bottom to add a new profile. We'll select Event, then we'll select Plugin, then Sharp Tools, and then Thing State. So we'll need to configure this plugin, and we'll do that by hitting the pencil icon. And this is where we'll set up uh, the optional filters for the thing state plugin. So earlier I mentioned that you needed to remember the attribute name, but we also need to know the thing name. So in my case, uh, my device was called Office Lamp, and you can put in partial uh, words if you want. It'll do partial matches. So I'll just put in Office. And for the attribute name, I remember that mine was called Level. So now that everything looks right, we can go ahead and click Apply. And we'll see here that now that this plugin is configured, there's a couple of different variables it's telling me that are triggered. And the one that we're most interested in is the attribute value. So that's the second one, which is percent %st underscore attr underscore value. So we'll rem remember that for the next step here. We'll click back to save it, and it'll prompt us to create a new task. So we'll go ahead and create a new task, and I'm not going to give it a name, but if you want to, you can. So I'll just hit the check mark. And here's where we'll add the action that actually takes that attribute value and puts it into the widget. So at the bottom, we'll click the plus icon to add a new action. We'll select plugin, and then minimalistic text. So here we have two options. We can either change the text style, or in our, our case, we want to actually change one of the values of the variables for minimalistic text. So we'll select the second option, which is minimalistic text. And then we have to configure this as well. So we'll hit the pencil icon. So in this configuration, we need to give it the variable name, which is the name of the variable that we created in minimalistic text earlier. And in my case, that was office light. And if you don't remember, you can always go back to your home screen and just tap on the widget, which brings up the configuration for that widget, and then look at what you set that variable name, that locale variable name earlier. And then the second thing we need to give it is the variable content. So you can either just manually give it something if you wanted it to, to say hi. You could literally just type hi in here, and it would set that, that office light variable in minimalistic text to hi, which would then display the word hi on your variable or on your widget. But what we want to do is we want to give it that st attribute uh, value that we came up with earlier. So make sure we type this in exactly, percent st underscore attr underscore value. And what's going to happen here is Tasker will take the value that's received from the light, so let's say it's 70%. It'll take 70, and it'll put it in this variable that we have, and then it'll hand that off to minimalistic text. So we can press back and then OK to save our changes, and then back one more time, make sure that the configuration is what we expect it to be. Back one more time takes us to the home screen, and one thing with Tasker is you need to make sure that you back out all the way out of Tasker to enable your new profile. So we'll go ahead and back out, and now we should be fully backed out. So what happens here is nothing's gonna display on your widget yet. So what has to happen is you actually have to have the event triggered before any data will be displayed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Sharp Tools again, just to give you an example of this. And I'm going to scroll down to the office lamp, and then I'm going to change the level of it. So I'll change it down to somewhere between 10 to 25%. And we'll press back, and we can see now that the widget is now showing 22. And if we wanted to format that uh, with some other things, like decorate it with a degrees Fahrenheit or something like that, you can do that. I'll leave that up to you, but this gives you a good example of how to get things set up. And one last thing I should note is that these widgets are based off of those events triggering. So let's say that you're subscribed to the temperature of a sensor. If that temperature doesn't change very frequently, let's say that your home is a pretty constant temperature, then the widget won't be updated until that temperature changes. So you can either be patient, that sometimes can take up to an hour or two before the temperature changes enough to trigger the sensor to actually send its updated value to smart things, or you can try to change the temperature of your device by either warming it up or cooling it down. Uh, so it's up to you, but best of luck.